Hi, I'm Susan Redman. The last time we had Jeremy here, we raised money for a very special cause, to build a church in northern Thailand for the Karen people. This once struggling village now has a thriving church with many more all over the area. What started out as a dream has become a body of believers committed to Christ. So what are we going to do this time? Something a little closer to home. You may remember ShareFest last year. 30 churches and thousands of people got together to help out friends and neighbors. Over 600 projects were accomplished. Lives were touched all over the valley. ShareFest was just the start of people committing to help. It's not just a single church or group that is going to make an impact, but the entire body of Christ working as one. For example, the Backpack Program. In the Grand Valley, there are many children who go hungry every weekend. Realizing this, the Backpack Program was born, providing children food for the weekend when they would normally have none. We spoke to the principal of Nisley Elementary to see how this program has affected her school. Well, we started out with, with thinking we were gonna serve about 50, and we just put the word out there. We just started out with, uh, do you have a need? Are you struggling? And we started it out and we collected the next day about 80. And so we called and said, it's more than 50, is 80 gonna be okay? And they said, well, don't put a cap on it, that'll be fine. And they just kept coming and coming and coming. We have great families, families that are struggling and families that aren't struggling. And the one thing we have in common is everybody wants the best for their kids, but um, with the economic times where they are, they can't provide the opportunities they'd like to. Um, so the backpack kind of alleviates that. We have a, a little guy and we call him Mikey and Mikey was very angry all the time. And we started to problem solve and try to figure out is it the work is too hard? Is it that he's not making friends? We did all of those problem solving and basically the child was just plain hungry. And it was just a constant thing with this child being hungry um, and just with his blood sugar fluctuating from being going from nothing to having food and going nothing to having food and just being able to uh, support him with food. Now he can learn and he's making friends and he's happy and big thing. At first they were so excited to see the backpacks and it was very novel and whatnot but now it's become a smile of relief. That's something that our eight-year-olds don't have to worry about anymore um, and that's something that kids shouldn't have to worry is where their next meal is coming from. The backpack program was a great start. Made up of committed volunteers from many churches, it has grown to 800 children from many schools, all receiving a backpack. So what's the next step? Camp. Most kids in the backpack program will never have the chance to experience a summer camp. If they can't afford food, then the luxury of summer camp is impossible. Now, that's where you come in. Recently, Canyon View Vineyard was given Camp Hope on Grand Mesa. This is an incredible facility that can serve hundreds of kids and a chance for us to introduce them to Jesus. We want to send these kids to camp, but more importantly, we want to open a door for them to experience the living God. A survey from George Barna said 80% of people committed their lives to Christ while at Sunday school or church camp, and Jesus wants that 80%. The camp is a great facility, but it is in need of repairs. From bathroom repairs to roofing, carpentry and drywall to general cleaning, much needs to be done. But we believe that working together as one, we can see the least of these brought to the Father. Last time, we built a church in Thailand. This year, let's be the church to Grand Junction.